Hey you guys, I'm Roxanne Speed with Enjoying Life Supernaturally. The Father wants to tell you to stop striving. He says, stop fighting, fighting the current. He said, your mind is fixed to follow me, to overcome and triumph all of these sufferings and afflictions and trials coming against you. And you will, because I allow them. They're to train you. They're to position you to have tools in your tool belt to cultivate your gifts that I have given you. The Holy Spirit says that I will work with you, that my grace is gonna come upon you and you will be able to do things that you could not do in the natural. But don't step out, stay with me. The minute you need to do something, we will do it together. I will give you the words because you have trained. I will position you because you have prepared. The Lord says to you that I am Jesus the Christ. I am the son of the living God. I am your Messiah. I will not mess this up. The world and the church makes you fearful, makes you think I am a distant God, that I am disappointed in what you do. No, I knew you were gonna sin before I created you, before the foundations of the world. I knew what you were gonna do. Remember, every single day of your life, is written, was written in my book before one took shape, before one sin you committed. I already laid down my life while you were yet a sinner. I ain't mad at you. I have nothing but love for you, says Jesus. He says, these trials are bringing about in you a glory, a glory that's gonna be revealed in you as I show myself strong. I'm coming back for you. I'm placing you in the kingdom where I am the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Relax, stop striving. The Father says, take communion, not like church all the time. Sit down in the privacy and the relaxing setting of your own home and read how before I was betrayed, we did this. We ate, we had the last supper, we broke bread and they ate it as my body that was broken for you. And they drank the wine that was, was the blood that I poured out for you. Am I not worth more? Am I not enough to save you, to sanctify you, and to deliver you from the enemy? I said enough is enough. This is your time to arise. This is your season to shine. You have went through your struggles. Now you're walking in to the easy road. You'll still have obstacles. You'll still have things you have to overcome, but you're gonna know my voice because I have trained you. You're gonna supernaturally have a power and an ability to hear me and see me in the coming season because this is a new era. This is a whole new time where things are being done differently. The Father says again, you please me for I am the God who is able and wants to and is willing and will do exceedingly, abundantly, above and beyond all you could ever ask, think, or dare to imagine. According to the Holy Spirit, my spirit working in you even now, says the Lord. Come unto me, sharing in communion with me. I'm there with you. I'm partaking with you. See me at the table. See me across from you smiling as we break bread together, as we eat. Get me real. Break me down. Make me relatable because I was flesh. I walked amongst you. I was the word that became flesh because I was saving you. I am saving you for my own. I chose you. You didn't choose me. I chose you so that you would go and bear much fruit. The Father says, stay abiding in the vine, abide in me and in my word and just praise and worship me. Put on music and just thank me in your heart. It doesn't have to be a big ordeal or a formula. Yes, I love that too, but just get out. I praise you. Pray in your spirit language. Pray in the way I have designed. Pray, pray, pray. You're declaring my Holy Spirit speaking out my words. You're praying my heart. You're releasing into the atmosphere. Your finances are taken care of. Your friends and your family situations I have already restored. I'm going to give unto you 
I'm not the God that takes away. Yes, you go through things, but there's reasons for them. And when you're suffering, know why you're suffering. Where are you going? What am I doing in and through you? And what is the ultimate purpose of why I was created? You were to love God. Ecclesiastes says, worship him, praise him, seek first his kingdom. He says, seek first my kingdom, my ways of doing and being right and righteous and all these things, everything, the healing you need mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually is breaking forth. The mountain is coming down because I, the Lord, have spoken. Hear my prophet. I speak to you as well through my Holy Spirit, but I use my servants to convey when you are weak, to lift you up when you have no strength. For it is I who endures for you. I intercede for you. I, Jesus, intercede for you, sitting at the right hand of the Father God. I got this. Stop tripping, says the Lord. Relax, enjoy your day, for that trial will be there later, but I've already overcome the world. So you will get through this. You will come out winning. It will come out in your favor. Do not fight evil with evil, for approach evil with good. Be gentle and kind and show my fruit to a world that needs to know that I am God that I am Jesus, the lion of the tribe of Judah, and I come for my people. So prepare ye the way of the Lord. Prepare me to walk on this scene and take the kingdom. But I work with you now. I'm giving you blueprints to build. I'm fostering a love in you that you've never had. I'm breaking down that hardened heart. I'm giving you new flesh. I'm putting a new spirit within you, the places that you can't break out, the places that the enemy has kept lies and false thinking patterns. I'm giving you a new paradigm. That's a whole new way to think and to believe. One step at a time. Bring one thing at a time to me. For I am willing and I will do what you ask. For I know your needs before you ask them. Before you know them. Ask, seek, and knock. For when you ask, it shall be given. When you seek, you will find and when you knock, oh, my doors will be open unto you because I, the Lord, stand at the door of your heart and knock. And if you let me in, I will come in and dine with you, my child, my friend. You know my plans. You hear my words, that still small voice that speaks to you in between your own thoughts, things that you couldn't come up with that hit you quickly. That's me. When you see visions of something, and again, you didn't think it up, it's me. Don't confuse my voice with the enemy. I bring peace. I bring solutions. Jesus said, for I am roaring lion, and I am smashing the lion that tries to devour you. For you are great in my sight. Hold on to me, because I'm holding on to you. Walk on the water, I bid you to come. Let your faith be a crazy faith because I'm crazy about you. My passion and desires burn for you. They burn within me. When I see you, my heart skips a beat. I am near you every day. I don't leave you nor forsake you. What kind of God would I be? What kind of provider would I be if I left you in a mess? Who would want to serve this God? If all walking with Christ was, is bad, negative, broke, busted, and disgusted. No, there's more for you. This is your appointed time. And did I not tell you, when the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. You can't stop it. Get excited. You're walking in obedience the best that you can to me. I'm honoring it. I see it and I embrace it. And when you fall, I pick you up as a mama or a daddy does a baby and put you back on track. For I, the Lord, am your guardian. The Holy Spirit is your advocate. I tell you things to come. I walk with you. I'm a bright light of glory that's in you, all around you, showing off to the world. Trust me. Lay in my embrace. Let me wrap my loving arms around you. Let me protect you for every need, every desire. 
everything that is in you, for I have put it there, and it is my desires. It will surely come to pass. Smile, says the Lord. It's going to get good. All right, you guys, when he stops, I stop. So if you have not yet signed up for the prophetic ministry breakout session, please do so. The information is in the description. Email me. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, but it blesses you, please take a second to subscribe. Let's spread these words far and wide and reach the nation and the globe. God's people, Christ's people are perishing. Hit the like button. Do the work of an evangelist. Share, share, share. You guys, you're not sharing enough. I'm watching the analytics. Share. People need this. They're ready to receive it. It's like a prophetic word. When you're ready to give it because the Lord has given it to you, the person, he is also made receptive and ready to receive. Mm. All right, you guys. I love you. Take care. Keep commenting. Keep encouraging each other, you guys. We are doing the work for the ministry. We're building people up, setting people free. It's deliverance. You are anointed and appointed for this. It's a secret we weapon within you, and the Lord's going to show you in the next couple days how powerful you are in Him. All right, I love you guys. Take care. I'll see you next time.